Hi, my name is Nick, and today I'm going to discuss GOSS. GOSS is a P2P gossip chat room built on top of Impervious using the Messaging and Federation API. Um, it can be thought of as a secure and anonymous chat layer. Um, and one of the best use cases is to chat information anonymously about a bet, such as a discrete log contract, or it could even be used to discuss information about derivatives or a DeFi contract. So why Goss? Um, so Goss really came to me in a chat I had with Ridgeback about, you know, is it possible to send gossip to an entire federation instead of just a one-to-one point-to-point -to -point messaging? And it is on the roadmap, but it hasn't been developed yet. So I decided I would just give it a try and see what I can do. Um, so one of the first use cases of what you might want to chat about um, is a bet. Um, really right now in Bitcoin, we have something that's known as a discrete log contract. Um, and a good example of that is, you know, betting what the future price of Bitcoin is going to be um, through an Oracle. Um, so this is an interesting uh, bet out there that they have on the shared bits Oracle about Bitcoin. Is it going to hit 100K by the end of the year? You can bet yes or no. Um, so I thought it was kind of weird that the only place people are really advertising these and talking about it is on Twitter. Um, what if you wanted to stay anonymous, you didn't want your IP revealed, um, your IP address revealed? Um, you know, I just thought there's got to be a better, more anonymous way to chat about these kind of contracts. Um, so that's really where the idea for GOSS came from. Um, so right now I'm going to do a demo of how you would get a chat room of people together. Uh, maybe you want to discuss, you know, is Bitcoin going to hit 100k by the end of the year? Um, you get a bunch of price market signals and then uh, really, at the end of the day, you can pass information back and forth anonymously and actually create that discrete log contract. Um, so let's do a demo right now. Um, so right here is the application running on localhost 3000. Um, right here, we have a mock-up of our federation. Um, and each of these members are running an impervious node. Um, you don't have to use your real name. You can use an alias. Um, but really, everybody is just identified by their uh, public key here. Um, so let's assume I'm Alice and I want to enter into a discrete log contract. Um, so I would probably say something like, hey, who thinks Bitcoin is going to hit 100K by end of year? Um, yes or no? We'll gossip that out to my federation. Um, it takes about two hops with this number of nodes that we have right now. Um, and at that point, we're probably going to get somebody like Bob that says, uh, yes, it will hit 100K by end of year. Um, so he's going to gossip that out to the group. Um, and then maybe you have somebody like Carol who doesn't think it will. Um, and once all the market signals and price signals and gossip goes around the group, Alice is going to say, all right, let's create the discrete log contract. And you could use a platform like Shared Bits or any of those to do it. Um, just to show that all that messaging isn't smoke and mirrors, we actually have a tail running here. And you can see all the messages um, we're going through each of those nodes. Each line represents one of the nodes being passed. Um, you know, what, what is it going to hit 100K? And then the response from Bob and Carol, yes and no. Um, over here, we have the polar network. This is just running on a, a little local network I have here, but you can see we have all the lightning nodes. We all have channels open and all the gossip is going through the lightning on layer two. Just for fun, let's stress test the system with 100 nodes and a fan out of five. Um, let's just say, hello, Federation. And let's apply that, pick a node. And let's see how many hops, hops it takes to send this out. Um, so this is the first gossip. So it took four rounds to gossip that entire message to the entire Federation. Um, so how does this all work? Um, so this is secure gossip minus the IP. Um, so Impervious doesn't use IP addresses. Um, all, of that, all of that is hidden underneath the covers. Um, so it's secure and anonymous. 
Um, and my application uses a really naive gossip protocol over the impervious messaging and federation APIs. Um, and really the public keys are used as a way to pass messages. No IP addresses, no identity ever gets uh, passed along. Um, and really spam is prevented just, you know, by, you know, lightning and pervious because they're using Satoshi's per message. Um, so it's like a hash cache like uh, spam prevention system. Um, so here's a diagram of the architecture. We've got Bitcoin on layer one, lightning on layer two, and pervious on layer three. And on top of that is my application GOSS. Um, and it's really just a simple gossip protocol using messaging and federation APIs. Um, so what are some of the future use cases? You know, some of the stuff you can build on top of this gossip chat layer. Um, you could potentially build uh, P2P order books, maybe a decentralized exchange, possibly some P2P matchmaking and routing algorithms. You know, think in the future of using your phone to order a peer-to-peer -peer Uber. Um, and once RGB contracts come online, you could definitely use this to discuss um, that type of information. All right, thank you, bye.